Explaining the Science of Sunscreen Summers are here, a time of bright sun, warm days and family picnics. Imagine you are at a beach, enjoying the cool breeze, the warm sun and the excited screams by children playing. You take out the towel, lay on top, put your sunglasses on and just soak in the sun. You wake up only to find that you've been sunburnt. So much for the great summer picnic. Have you ever wondered why you get sunburnt? Or how the sunscreen protects you? Or why at times, even when you lather yourself with sunscreen, you still get a sunburn? Well, wonder no more because here at Abudo we have all the facts that you need to know. What is SPF? You're probably quite familiar with the term SPF, but do you know what it actually means? SPF, also known as sun protection factor, measures how effective a sunscreen is at protecting against UVB rays. These rays are responsible for causing sunburn and play a major role in developing skin cancer. Sunscreen manufacturers determine the SPF number based on how long it takes for the skin to become red with and without sunscreen. For example, if it takes 10 minutes for the skin to redden without any sunscreen, using SPF 30 sunscreen should prevent redness for 30 times longer, which is almost 5 hours. However, it is important to take note that no sunscreen, regardless of how high the SPF is, is effective enough for more than 2 hours without reapplication. Now, let's get to explaining the science behind sunscreen. Sunscreens can be classified as both organic or chemical and inorganic or physical. Organic compounds work like a sponge to absorb UV radiation. Inorganic compounds work to shield the skin to reflect and scatter UV radiation in the same way that white paint reflects the light off of a surface. A broad spectrum sunscreen contains compounds that absorb and reflect UVB rays alongside UVA rays the cause of skin aging and wrinkles. Is a higher SPF better? Most opt for a sunscreen higher in SPF because a higher SPF means more protection, right? Yes, that's right. SPF 15 blocks about 93% of UVB rays, SPF 30 blocks about 97%, and SPF 50 blocks up to 98%. According to scientific research, you should use a broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher. How much sunscreen should you use and when to apply it? To cover the whole body, most adults need to apply approximately 1 ounce of sunscreen, enough to fill a shot glass. It should be applied to dry skin 15 to 30 minutes before stepping outside and should be reapplied every 2 hours, especially after swimming, sweating and drying off. It's best to practice sun protection daily, even on cool and cloudy days regardless of the season. This is because things such as the sand, water and even snow reflect sunlight. While sunscreen plays a huge role in protecting you against harmful rays, you should always avoid unnecessary skin exposure. Remember to reapply and apply correctly.